Hi there everybody. I just want to share a little bit of experience about um, an anxiety attack I had um, a week ago now. I was going to college, my first evening at college, um, to do my teaching assistant level 3. And um, it's the same place that um, my husband is currently studying for his degree in counselling. He's on his second year. I'm very proud of him. Um, and so I'm going along to the college that I've been to previously for my also my counselling qualification. So I, I'm familiar with the place anyway. Um, but it's there's a lot of things going on for me last week because not only am I going along to start a new college course, I'm going to be meeting new people. Um, and that in itself is very nerve-wracking for me. It's made me feel sick and anxious. Um, but one of the hugest things for me as well is that John's there on the same day doing his counselling degree. Now, John's been doing his counselling course now for three years. And knowing what a counselling course is all about, having done it myself up to the level three, I know how close you can get to people. And I know that John's built up relationships with people on the course. And there is, in the last three years, there's been him in a class of 15 other women. Now, for me, over the last three years, well, sorry, the last year, he's, there's been four other blokes in there, but prior, prior to the two years, it was him and 15 other women. That was absolutely a huge challenge for me every Wednesday when he would go to college my insecurities would be so high my anxiety would be through the roof he knew a little bit at the beginning but I tried to hide him from him through the rest of the course because it wasn't his it wasn't his insecurity it wasn't his fault he's never ever in the four years that we've been together done anything to make me believe that he would do anything to hurt me. Um, I trust him. And for the most part, it's been 99.9%. .9%. And that other tiny percentage that I haven't, it's not him, it's me. Because I believed that I wasn't good enough for him, that he deserved better than me. He would meet prettier, nicer, more qualified, more intelligent women than, than me. And there'd be somebody there that he'd get a connection with that he'd leave me for. Now I knew he had connections, but I also knew that John wouldn't do that to me. I know John won't do that to me. But this is what I've been telling myself for the past three years. And then something happened in the summertime which kind of compounded all the feelings for me. Um, I don't need to go into detail about it, but it just... My anxiety was through the roof again. I felt sick, heart racing, felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Um, I couldn't even drink. I couldn't even hold alcohol in. I was that bad. Anyway, I'm facing this same college that my husband's currently at with these are the women. So I get to the college at five o'clock to be told, actually the course isn't starting until six, which I knew it wouldn't be six every week, but I thought the first week we were told it was five o'clock. So great. I was now had an hour to sit in reception with all this mind talk going on, telling myself all sorts of stuff, actually imagining what I was gonna walk into seeing and thinking, Please don't let me be on the same floor as John. I really don't think I could cope with that. And again, this guy's never, ever done anything to make me think these thoughts about him. It's nothing to do with him. It's everything to do with my past. And that's why I feel so insecure. And I'm not doing anybody in my past down, but that's the fact of why I feel the way I do. So... I text John and say, look, I'm just letting you know, because I'd already said I would message him when I get there, and if he's free, if he's on a break or whatever, to pop and see me. Text him to let him know I'm there. Um, and, you know, say I'm freaking out, I'm nervous and everything. Um, you know, hope he's having a good afternoon, as I always do. 
And then he turned up on his break, he came to see me and we spent a little time talking together and I was just jabbering away and chatting to him. I didn't tell him how I was feeling because he didn't need to hear that. He was on his first day back at uni and he didn't need to know about my insecurities there and then. He was going back into class and he didn't deserve to feel crap going back into class so I kept it to myself and just kept it, you know, chit-chat about what had gone on through the day and me English I'd been doing. And then he went off to his class. And then as I was sat there, I looked up and I thought, I wonder what floor I'm actually on. Please don't be on the same floor as my husband. And I, I caught, as much as I could see without my glasses on or being close up to it, John was upstairs. Yeah, my course was upstairs. Oh, my stomach was flipping. I felt so sick. I just wanted to run away. I didn't want to be there. Oh. The, the thoughts that were running through my head and what I was going to walk into, what I was going to see. I don't even know what I was going to see, just stupid, what I'm just laughing and joking with these classmates because that's all it was, really, in the grand scheme of it. So I walked up the stairs and it was on the same floor as John. And then I walked into my class and there was about 20 people sat there. No seats for me. So my anxiety, as you can imagine, was going absolutely apeshit. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. My legs were like jelly at this point. I felt like I could throw up. I just wanted to run away, but I knew I needed to stay. So one of the teachers, the teachers had got me a chair, I sat down, and I'm just sat very quietly looking around the room. And at the time I was thinking, do you know, I've sat downstairs in reception, watched all these people being sent up here. Why the receptionist couldn't tell me, oh, you can go up now, I don't know. I have no idea. But I just thought you could have saved me even more anxiety by sending me up rather than me walking into classroom full of people. But that's by the by, really, she didn't know. She was only doing a job. Anyway, I got through that and um, got onto a break after a bit of talking with the tutors and everything. Talked to a couple of people about I was a little bit anxious and that I had anxiety. And uh, one of the girls kind of took me under a wing and sat with me, and she was really lovely. So I really appreciated that. But while we were in the room, the door was open, and I could hear noise across the landing when we came back after our break. And I knew it would be the counselling session, the, 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 you know, the, the counselling group, probably going to the rooms to do the sessions. And I was just thinking, please, I don't want to hear John's voice. I don't want to hear all this. And I just felt so sick. So anyway, at the end of the, the class... On an evening, we were both finishing our classes at the same time, and I'm thinking, oh, God, what am I going to bump into? And I came out, had this little tour around the college to show on fire exits, etc. Came downstairs, got to the bottom of the stairs, and then the counselling class started coming downstairs. And I couldn't concentrate and focus on what my tutor was saying because the panic was raging through me. Anyway, a couple of the lasses came down and I recognised one of them from when I'd seen previously. And I just said hi to her. Um, remind, you know, because she didn't realise who I was. So I just said, I'm John's wife. And she said, oh, has John gone? And she said, oh, yeah, she's gone, gone a little while ago. Um, and I felt relief. I felt relief. Anyway, I got my car, went home, and I explained, I phoned John up on my speakerphone, Bluetooth, whatever, and explained a little bit how I felt. He was out of the class, and because we do have this honest relationship, I wanted to explain to him how I was feeling. So I did, from the start to the finish. And I felt so much better for explaining how I felt I felt better for actually speaking to one of the lasses in his class to see they're just normal everyday people, they're just his classmates. And they don't mean anything other than him to him than being his classmates that he's on a learning journey with and experience with. And it just took all the the fear out of everything for me that he doesn't want to be with anybody else but me. He's, he's happy with me and and I'm okay. I am good enough. I am good enough, and I do deserve to be with John. And my anxiety went. 
It absolutely went when I was honest with him and taught him how I felt. So I've got college coming up this week. Um, I've got another whole host of emotions and feelings going on about that as well. Um, but that's till for another time. But yeah, I hope my sharing again just maybe helped you understand a situation you might have walked in previously where your past come up and it's affected how you were coping and walking into a, a new situation but how the past actually did affect you and how I overcome it by being honest with my husband, talking to him about how I felt, faced the situation and walked into it and dealt with it. So yeah, I hope it's helped. Okay, until next time. Enjoy whatever you're doing now. Um, it's, it's an evening chat I've given to you today. Um, so yeah, just enjoy whatever you're doing. Okay, catch y'all later. Bye.